All right, everyone, it's time for yet another garden update because it's been, I think, six days, actually. Uh, by the way, I picked down all of the chamomile in the entire garden only like three days ago, and uh, you can see there's a lot, of, <laughs> a lot of chamomile up now. Things are a little bit wilty because it's almost 90 degrees and fully sunny, even though I soaked everything and fertilized it earlier. But for the most part, things are looking pretty good. you got to let it dry out a little bit once in a while. You can see the beets there. Some of them are, you know, they're getting... Fairly decent size, golf ball size beets in there, more or less. These onions here didn't do very much. The turnips though in there, some, some of them are baseball sized. Lots and lots of beets there, lots of cabbage. Some of them on this side are a little bit smaller. For some reason this area didn't do as well as the other end of the bed. I'm not actually, I'm not 100% sure why. Got quite a few pickings already of Swiss chard and there's a huge amount more. Um, probably have some tomorrow on the 4th you know, some of the greens in the garden, maybe even cook off a couple turnips along with the barbecued goodies, you know, hot dogs and burgers sort of fare. All the herbs are doing well. I've actually got to chop off the top of the parsley there. I'll use some of that actually tomorrow for some of the veggie burgers actually. It's uh, good to have you have a veggie burger, a hamburger, a couple hot dogs, a bunch of chips and dip. I got sour cream and onion stuff as well. By the way, look at how fucking fat that zucchini is. Barely even makes sense. Looks more like a wa uh, miniature watermelon at this point. All the zucchini are growing and more actually are coming on these plants also. Huge amount of them. There are peppers starting to come through. Let's see, this one I think, I think this one's the sweet banana. There's some growing on there. I think that was the sweet banana. This is a bell, a green bell. There's a couple of them on there. This one, uh, does it have anything? Not quite yet, they're still uh, fairly strong. I think this one was a jalapeno, but I can't remember. I can't remember what was put where because I didn't bother labeling them. That one in the middle, the new one, is a ghost pepper plant. It does have little blossoms on the top. It will probably produce quite a bit. You're not gonna need much of them. <laughs> uh, lots of cucumbers, more zucchini. The onions over there are doing well. I did some weeding, as I've uh, said before, along the side there, that shit weed. I've still gotta get that clump over there. This uh, sunflower is now about five feet tall, so it'll definitely get up to at least eight feet, probably higher, might hit nine or 10. The dill, I'm gonna make some dill seed, thankfully for pickles. Lots of stuff in here. I weeded through here uh, the other day as well, so this is looking better. There are Nicosiana coming up here and there. You can see down there in amongst the uh, happy garlic plants. Those are doing well, actually. Those are, are pretty big. You know, it's just barely July. Maybe have some collards tomorrow also. Pick those down, the larger leaves. There aren't that many, but I'm the only one that eats them, so. <laughs> I can only eat so many. And lots and lots of carrots. They're really good this year. Nothing's uh, attacked them, nothing's eaten them down. The tomatoes, there are actually a few. I didn't notice this until today. There are actually tomatoes in there. I think uh, this one's got a few on it too. There's a whole thing of them there. A lot of tomatoes. That artichoke will probably uh, produce something. I don't know, I've never seen one actually growing before. These uh, have come right up there. Uh, these are more spindly plants than some tomato varieties. All the flowers and these beans and they're starting to flower. More peppers here, they're producing a little bit. I think all three of these were sweet peppers. I think the two on the sides were red bell the one in the middle I think was a banana, but I can't remember. Something got after the marjoram, as I think I said before, but it doesn't really make a difference. These lilies have definitely taken, though. I've got to go through and do a little bit more weeding on this side of the garden. Look at all of these corn poppies. Oh, that's a new color. Uh, that's a hybrid I hadn't seen before. These hybridize pretty easily, and so you can see like, a, like with this one, it's got extra petals. That happens all the time. I've had them before that had so many mutated extra petals that they looked more like a carnation than a poppy, actually. And sometimes uh, they get mutated. They have like, it'll have six, or it's almost always multiples of two. Back side of the herb bed. You see nice basil in there. Look at the size of that. I think that's the uh, cinnamon basil, if I remember, or the Thai basil. There's sweet basil plants, Thai basil. There's cinnamon basil, there's red basil, cilantro. There's a rogue tomato in there, which is actually almost as big as the other tomato plants now. It'll produce. It's almost certainly a cherry, but a, if I had my druthers, it'd be aroma. 
because those are good for, uh, you know, make sauces and shit. A nice tomatoey sauce with the homegrown onions and garlic and herbs. Lots of oregano and stuff. This is a burdock, as I think I've stated. This is almost as tall as me, because that ground out there is a little bit lower. This is a, a more than five feet tall. And look at all these. I picked these down less than a week ago, most of these. Almost uh, to nothing. I can't even pick anymore. I don't have any space to dry them at the moment. I'd have to use the paper bag method, which somebody pointed out, which I guess you can do, but I like to dry them actually in the sun. These, I couldn't even keep up with them. Half of them have almost gone to seed, which is fine, because what I'm going to do is, when I have the space again, I'll come in and pick everything down another time, and I'll get at least two or three more that way, maybe a fourth. I'll have those big uh, jars, the pint and a half jars, or two pint jars or whatever they are. I'll have probably five of those full of the dried material, like like once it's actually dried it gets a little smaller. It's a lot of tea, huge amount of everything. I look at these fucking cabbage plants, I have never grown cabbage plants that were nearly this good. And I've never grown anything, actually for a lot of these plants I've never grown anything this good, like I've always had problems with peppers. The zucchini normally by now have some sort of fucked up wilt or something. Look at that, look at that horseradish plant trying to grow in there. Yeah. Yeah, that's definitely horseradish. <laughs> nice. Lots of Nicosiana. Those will be blooming in, you know, a couple weeks they'll start, and they'll go all summer, basically, uh, into the fall, because the light frost won't kill them. But yeah, everything's growing really, really well, especially, the, I mean, the tomatoes this year are fantastic. Again, usually by now they've got wilt in them a little bit. Not a sign, not even a hint of wilt in pretty much anything. The only thing that's had a little bit on the bottom leaves are these beets here, and this Brussels uh, sprout plant, which managed to grow, which is going to be delicious. Again, I'll be the only one eating them probably, too, for the most part. Right, look at it all. Non-stop greenery. Happy little scenery. <laughs> but yeah, it'll be a tea time for sure. I'm going to have to start drinking more of it. I mean, won't be able to keep up with it dry. Might as well drink it fresh, too. I should just lop off all the flowers and just... Uh, give it all to the neighbors or something, I don't know. I don't know if anyone around here is it really a tea drinker. Coffee's more common. It's because coffee's better for a lot of things. I don't know, I'm an American. It's almost the 4th of July. No tea allowed on the 4th of July, you goofy Britishers. That's about all. Peace out.